Cody on his way to get his tanks in uh, Wyoming. Yep. Bit of a drive. Got a 27 foot flatbed trailer. Find the straps. All loaded up. In case anyone's wondering what was inside these tanks originally, uh, there's the sticker explaining. It doesn't look like anything that I couldn't just wash out. So here we are at my parents' ranch. We just unstrapped the tanks and pushed them off the trailer. It was pretty easy. Uh, the reason they're out here instead of the Nevada property is one, we already had a place cleared where there's no grass to burn them in the event of a fire. Uh, two, that long trailer would not make it up to the Nevada property. And three, these are a pretty big rifle target. I, I don't want them out there until I'm actually ready to guard them. I can actually hear myself, the echo. Let's see if I can get that lid off. Let's see how that's gonna sound. My videos are gonna be really, really echoey. <laughs> oh, this is great. So, moment of truth. I've got my luxometer here. Let's see how bright it is inside those tanks. So we've got around 140,000 lux from the sun. The sun is of course very bright. But plants really don't need that much. Even light loving plants only need like 25 to 30. So as long as we've got that in the tanks, we should be good. So let's stick this in there. It's substantially darker. Yeah. That's almost 40,000, that's plenty. Nice. That should work. Let's try this tank over here. It's got a little bit of thinner plastic, so it might actually be even brighter. Uh, no, not really. Let's compare this to that uh, blue tank that I know can grow plants. Okay, so same lighting conditions. Stick it down inside the tank. That's about the same, actually. Well, all right then. Well, we know that works. While I'm at it, let's test the uh, 3,800 gallon tank as well. That worked pretty good. Let me try to cover the hole with my body and make sure no light's getting through. And we're still. Still up around 40k. Good. I'll post a link to the plants in a tank videos down below and probably also in the playlist. But the main findings were, not only was I able to grow plants, but I was able to grow this oat inside the tank, and the oats outside the tank, which were planted at the same time, grew this big. As you can see, that's one, two, three, four, five times taller inside the tank, and probably about that much more of a yield as well. Like, what is that, three grains on that stock? I've got one, nine, nine, 30. So yeah, 30 grains on that stock, so much greater yield. And this one grew a month faster than these ones did. This tells me that the lack of wind, abundance of water, and the high temperatures make up for the lack of light. So here we are. Got my great big tanks, and these things are tough. The plastic on these is almost half an inch thick in most places. And if you think about it, it makes sense because, you know, they're about 13 feet tall, and they're designed to hold uh, liquid with at least 1.5 uh, times the density of water. That means that they've got to deal with about nine pounds per square inch of fluid pressure at the bottom, which is perfect for me because I do plan on pressurizing them. Not nearly so much though, I'm thinking maybe 
most likely just the amount of pressure that a shop vac puts out so the equivalent of changing an altitude by a few thousand feet I don't want to go crazy with it but I do like the idea of everything being able to be pressurized to a point that if I were on Mars it'd still function so I think the minimum pressure I would need if I was on Mars is about five psi about two and a half for oxygen and the rest for a buffer gas to keep everything from going up in flames so um, they've got big flat bottoms here I think the idea that I have is to take two of them and butt them up like this and put a ring of bolts along here, along with some sealant, basically making it into one great big pill-shaped tank. And then I'll uh, cut a hole in this here so I can step through and uh, go between them. Or maybe I'll just uh, set them up kind of like this and stick them on like that and then just let these uh, flat areas just bulge out. I don't think that would be really that big of a deal. It might even help with the pressure regulation. I might have to do some tests to see just how significant that bulge is going to be. Yeah, if anything, these ought to make some pretty awesome storm-proof greenhouses. I'm not under the delusion that I'll be able to grow all of my food in here. Uh, the total area that I've got is actually still quite small. Uh, these are just for growing the tall crops. Things like uh, tomatoes, peppers, uh, berries, maybe corn, that sort of thing. Stuff that needs a lot of height. For the majority of my food, the, the grain, the soybeans, you know, stuff that grows pretty short, I plan to uh, have some uh, tunnels, about uh, two feet in diameter, so big enough that I could crawl into it if I want to, but I'm planning on like pushing the trays of uh, plants into them, like with a hook, and uh, those will probably make up the majority of my grow space. I haven't quite finished designing them yet, so definitely be in another video. Yeah, the uh, first episode is now out. I've read you guys' comments. I noticed a lot of you guys are asking about uh, my chain mail here. Well, uh, it's my EVA suit. <laughs> you see, uh, making a pressurized spacesuit is probably not something I'm really capable of at the moment, at least not safely. And so uh, I figure I'll just simulate the weight, you know, and the decrease in mobility and whatnot. And also, if I'm on a planet with low gravity, the extra weight might keep my bones from deteriorating as fast. <laughs> not to mention that this is actually a not insignificant amount of radiation shielding. Even though it's got holes, you know, there's, there's mass here. That'll, that'll stop some particles. And also, I spent 200 hours working on this thing. I'm going to find every excuse to wear it I can. <laughs> so, alright. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. The kangaroo rat. I finally got one on camera. Oh, <laughs> oh they're so cool. <laughs> <laughs>